Hey guys, so firstly, I'm so sorry it's been so long again since I've made a video. I promise I'm gonna start making videos more frequently. I was away for a little while and then I was in New York. While I was in New York, I did get some videos, so I'm gonna look back through them, see if they're any good, and if they are, I'll put together sort of a little New York vlog for you guys. But today, I'm finally gonna do my long-awaited Q&A for you guys. I asked you on my YouTube, Twitter, and on my Instagram what you would like to know with the hashtag Ashcla- uh, know about uh, what you would like to know about me with the hashtag AskClaire. I've grabbed loads of random questions for you guys that I'm going to answer today. Um, so let's kick off. How do you pronounce your last name please? So the last name you're seeing on my YouTube channel isn't actually my last name, that's my middle name and it's pronounced Siobhan. So you're seeing Claire Siobhan. Siobhan is an Irish name, it's my middle name, my family's Irish. It started off as my Xbox gamer tag and I put it all in little letters because when you read it all it doesn't really make much sense and people on Xbox would never assume I was a girl. So it's Claire Siobhan. Can you pronounce my name correctly? Jerome Poikia? Jerome Poikia? I think that's right. What was your first ever pet with some really cute emojis? So when I was a kid, I was mega into animals, but my <laughs> my parents obviously didn't want to get me any pets because my dad pretended he was allergic to fur. So but my first pet was two fish. I can remember I only had them about a month and I was, I was really young at the time. And I would keep taking them out of the water to stroke them because I was that desperate for a pet that would love me back that the fish died. I feel horrible. They died on Remembrance Day. I still remember them to this day. After that I got a little hamster called uh, Cherry. Then I got another hamster called Gus that was like super fluffy. And then I remember my parents kind of finally relented on getting me a real pet when I was about 17. I got a cat called Sam and he still lives with my parents because literally a year after they let me finally get a pet, like even less, like six months, I moved away. So. <laughs> Thanks parents. And of course now I've got my two little babies. I've got Oliver the Ragdoll and Darcy the Maine Coon. What do you do for Xbox and what is your job at Xbox? My day-to-day -day role is um, at Xbox. My role is kind of the EMEA, which is Europe, Middle East and Asia social community manager. So I look after a lot of the other markets um, and help them with their campaigns. So I get to do really cool stuff on Halo, and Rise of Tomb Raider and Forza and all kinds of fun stuff. It's an amazing job and it's really fun. If you had one million dollars, what would you spend it on? So if I had one million dollars, which is what, about 650,000 pounds? Or thereabout? So first of all, I have student debts, so I'd pay those off. First things first, get rid of any debt. I also kind of feel like I owe my parents quite a lot for bringing me up, so they would definitely take a few hundred thousand. I also have quite a big Irish family and we love buying each other things and just giving each other gifts. And we always talk about if we won the lottery, how we would split it and what we would give to everyone. So my family would definitely get to go on a big holiday with me. And then after that I'd probably just build like a cat kingdom and get a dog and get dogs get all the dogs. What is your favourite Pokemon game and why? Mine's Soul Silver. So funny you should say that because I recently started playing Soul Silver uh, a couple of months ago now. I totally missed out on it the first time. The only games I played were red, uh, blue and yellow and even then red was the one that I really played a lot. Played Soul Silver recently and oh my god, that game is amazing. I love it. I play it with the Poker Walker. I absolutely love, love, love that game. It's totally recaptured my love of that series and is why Pokemon is such a fantastic game. Can you speak Spanish? Hablo un poco español. Un poquito español. <laughs> I wish I could speak more. When I was at uni, I was doing um, a marketing degree and kind of on the side, I did a foundation degree in Spanish just for fun. I really thought I would be able to speak Spanish and I really enjoyed the lessons, but I felt like I was doing really well. And then I went to Spain um, on a holiday and realized how fast you guys speak. It's so hard to try and keep up with you, even if you've learned the language. And what we learn in a classroom, I think is very different to the way you guys speak. So. No, I can't speak Spanish. I can speak a little bit of Spanish and I always try and make a big effort when I go to Spain. But I would love to be able to speak more Spanish. Porsche or Ferrari? Ferrari, obviously. What was your first ever game you played and console? Actually, I think the first video game I played was like the duck shooter one, which you have this like little gun and you aim it at the screen and like duck hunt, I think it's called duck hunt. You shoot the ducks. Oh my God, that game was so fun. And then the next game I can remember sitting down and playing was Goldeneye on N64. 
And I remember my older cousin just sat me on it and I was like, oh, I really want to really try the N64. So he put me on like double O agent hardness mode on Cradle on Goldeneye, which was really hard. Who is your favorite video game character of all time? So I'd say my two favorite video game series are Mass Effect and Skyrim. Skyrim, you kind of are your own character, so there's no main character of that game per se. Whereas Mass Effect, whenever I play it through, I always play as Femchef. I think she's got amazing voice acting. I love her character, I love how you kind of grow and develop across the series and the bond you're making. Oh my god, I just love Mass Effect, I love it! So I would say that Mass Effect Femchef is definitely my favourite games character of all time. Does this count as a question? Yeah, I guess it does. Why is your eyebrow always raised? So, if you follow me on Instagram, um, I, I post selfies on there, like, I'm not gonna lie, I post some selfies on Instagram, and whenever I smile, this eyebrow goes really high. And I've no idea why, because if I try, like, I'll try and raise my eyebrows, like, Is it, is it going up? I... I think it's... I can't tell. Basically, in real life, if I smile, that eyebrow goes up. If I try and do it, if I try and do it, like just sitting and talking to somebody, I can never do it. So it's some sort of gift that is only unlocked when I am in front of a camera and taking a selfie. So that's why my eyebrow is always raised on Instagram. So I also got a lot of questions on a really similar theme, which you can probably see here. Um, and I figured it was probably time to answer because you guys have been asking this a lot. So I figured we might as well ask the man himself. Ali? Yeah, what's up? What's up? Um, are you my boyfriend? Yeah, of course I am, BB. <laughs> Why were you in a wardrobe? Um... <laughs> I got lost. Okay, thanks, babe. <laughs> Bye. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my Q&A and I tried to answer as many of your questions as I possibly could. I'm gonna check back on the videos from New York and if there's enough footage in there, I will make a New York vlog. In the meantime, I'm thinking about finishing off my Outlast series. If you guys would like to see me do that, please leave a comment below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys.